Hey guys, what's up? This is Caleb with DSLRVideoShooter.com and today I wanna to show you a really cool trick on how you can take one single camera angle and turn it into two different camera angles. One of the great pluses to having 4K is the amount of resolution you have and being able to crop in with that. Now I know this isn't the best solution for everything. So you really need to think about your final distribution. That's really key here. So if you are shooting a feature film, this might not be the best trick to use. For instance, let's say you shoot everything at 4K, you crop and post, you do all this crazy stuff. Then down the road, someone wants you to distribute in 4K. Now you have a problem because all that cropped stuff is gonna look pretty terrible once you blow it up to full 4K. So if you're distributing in 4K or you really wanna distribute in 4K, Later, don't use this tip. This is primarily for those of us distributing to the web. So the trick I'm gonna show you is great for people like me, where I'm shooting videos for the web. There's no reason for me to be putting up 4K footage. I'm not doing a feature length documentary or film. I'm just helping you guys out doing these videos. So if you're distributing to 1080p or 720, this is going to be fine. There's no problem with using this. But if you want to distribute in 4K, or if you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a film, definitely not something you want to necessarily use. So now let's take a look at the excerpt from the GH4 guide where I talk about this really slick trick. First I'm going to show you how to do this in Final Cut Pro 10. then I'm going to show you how to do this in Premiere Pro. So if you want to skip Final Cut and go straight to the Premiere section, use the time code at the bottom of the screen, you can completely bypass Final Cut. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this trick. Now let's look into multicam with 4K. When you pair 4K with the multicam tool in Final Cut Pro, you have a very powerful combination. So I wanna show you two things. First, we're gonna look at a standard multicam, then we're gonna look at a special multicam using only one video source to create two separate angles for interviews or something like that. So first, I've got two shots of the beach, two different cameras. I can select each of them and I can right click and go new multicam clip. From here, we can name the actual multicam clip and we have a bunch of different settings here. Usually the default settings will work for you. All we have to do is hit okay and I'll go ahead and create a new multicam. Okay, so it finished processing and we see here there is a multicam clip with the four little squares. I can double click that and here we have our multicam editor. And uh, this is where we could rearrange things if we wanted to. And we're gonna leave that alone and go back to our project. And then we're going to grab our multicam clip and drop it into our project. And you'll only see one track here. What we need to do is go up to view on the top right and say show angles. Now here we see both of our camera angles. And if I play through here, I can actually click and cut back and forth between the two different angles. And you can see that represented on the lower left in our actual timeline, we actually see the different cuts here, which is really slick. So that's one way to use just a basic multicam setup. Now what I wanna do is close this and show you how to turn one 4K camera angle into two different camera angles. So let me just delete all this other stuff to make things a little more straightforward. So you can see here I have a clip. This is a single clip, so it's one camera, it's 4K or UHD, and it's just me doing a camera review. Now normally I use two cameras, but let's say for the sake of our project here that I was only able to use one single camera. What I'm going to do is I am going to right click just the one clip and say new multicam clip. Here we have the same settings as before. I'm gonna leave them as default and hit okay. It should go pretty quick because there's no other angles. It's just a single camera angle. So here we have our multicam clip. I'm going to double click it. And you see here we only have one single angle. Now this is where things get really fun and interesting. I'm going to hit this little down arrow here and say add angle. So now we have a second angle. You can name this whatever you want, like angle two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the 
Option key, and I'm going to click and drag that first angle onto the second one. So what we've done here is we've created a second angle. It's identical to the first one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this little view button here. What this is going to do is it's going to put the second angle on the screen here, and this is what we're going to see. Now to make my second camera angle, I'm going to go into the inspector, going to video, and I'm going to scale. Now it's up to you how far you want to scale in and what your final resolution is going to be. But uh, usually between 120 and 150 is safe. Uh, it really depends on where you're going to export it. And there's two ways to do this. We can scale in here and then I can hit the transform button and move this around, frame it up. Let's just for kick go real tight here. Something like that. Hit done. And now we have our second camera angle is a nice tight shot, but our first angle is the nice wide shot. Now, when you do this, you want to remember that your tight angle here is digitally zoomed, which means it's probably not going to be as sharp as the original shot. So here's the original shot. Here is the close up. We can see it's a hair softer. So what I like to do is go over to the effects tab and then I'm going to search at the bar here for sharpness or sharpen. I'm going to drag that over our second clip, go back up to video. Here we have our sharpness. 2.5 is a little intense usually, so I'll go to like 1.5 and now it's a little sharper and that will match our first angle. So now let's go ahead and open our project, drag our multi clip into the timeline and I am going to close all these items over here, go to view, show angles, and boom. Now we can see we have two camera angles here, even though it's the same clip, which is pretty awesome. So now I can go through here, click back and forth and cut together my project, which is really, really nice and a very powerful tool. If you only have one camera, you can use this 4k camera and create two different angles. And this is actually what I do a lot for my show at DSLR video shooter, a single camera on me and then another tight camera on the camera or lens that I'm talking about. And this method allows me to go ahead and create a third camera angle. So a very powerful tool, something that's much easier to do with 4k when you distribute to 1080 or less so if your final distribution is 4k i would not recommend this as we discussed earlier but for those of us going to the web for 1080 this method would be fine <laughs> Now we're going to look at multicam in Premiere. Now to do that trick that we looked at in Final Cut where we use the same file or the same camera angle to create two camera angles, we have to do that a little differently here. So the first thing we need to do is take our video file and duplicate it. Now that we have two, we can select both, right click, create multi-camera source sequence. Bunch of settings here. We're going to leave it on audio for syncing and leave this unchecked because we don't need to create a separate bin. Now we're gonna hit OK. All right, so now it has processed the multicam and we see that over here. You can tell by this little blue icon with the multiple little layers or whatever that is. And now I can grab this, drag it down, create a new sequence. And there it is. So now we're seeing it all lumped together. What we need to do now is change the view because we'll be able to edit it in this window here. So we go click on this little wrench and we're going to go to multi camera. So now we have our two different camera angles here. Now we need to go ahead and take one of those angles and turn it into our second angle, which is going to be a tighter shot. To do this in our sequence where we have our multicam laid down, we're going to hit command and double click on the actual multicam clip. And now we have access to those individual clips. So I'm going to select the top one, which is our copy. I'm going to go up to the effects controls under motion. I'm going to go ahead and scale this guy. Maybe something like that. And now it's too blown up. My head's all cut off. So I'm going to bring the clip down. 
Maybe something like that. And that should be pretty good. Oh, looks like we need to go a little further. Perfect. Now, now we're back at our original sequence and you can see here we have our wide shot and our tight shot. Now all I have to do is hit play. I can click back and forth and cut back and forth. Perfect. And when I hit uh, pause, you'll see it went ahead and threw the edits in. So now if I go back to the beginning and play, we'll see our edits uh, displayed up here in the viewer. So again, that is doing multicam clips using one single angle from one camera in Premiere Pro. So there you have it, really slick way to only use one camera and get two angles out of this. I've used this in multiple different combinations. I'll do it like I am in this video where I only have one camera. I've also done it when I have two or three cameras and you want to create a ton of different uh, angles to you know, tell a story in a different way or if you have a very complex edit ahead of you. It's a great way to make sure you have a backup. If you want to learn more about the GH4 and a bunch of post tutorials, check out the GH4 guide. I have a lot of information in there. Otherwise, stay tuned for more reviews and tutorials right here at DSLR Video Shooter.